Hop in, losers. We're going to Summer Isle. <laughs> it's my opening joke. We're not actually going to Summer Isle. I just read that first. We're going to check out Alf's say. Uh, we're just get. Oh, look at the red. Look at that. I think that's the first time I've seen that. Um, let's just deploy. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to hopefully finish this run today and see how it goes. I, it's been a few moments since I've played this, but I think I, uh, you know, I still get the gist of it. Okay, so we've got shield folk coming up over there. Let's get the pikes in position to hopefully hold them off. We don't really appear to have much of anyone else coming in, so we could just set up a full pincer here. Let's swap these two because it looks like they're going to want to run that way. Yeah. Push them into the pikes. Very good move. So, somebody pointed out to me that, um... That there are things... Sorry, I have to do two things at once here, because I got a big guy coming in. Uh, that when you click on your units, you have other things here, like replenish, flee... Um, I have never done any of that before, so that's interesting to look at. Um, okay, those pike guys did a good job. Let's get these guys here and these guys here. We'll keep them working together. Because, yeah, those guys are allowed to shoot at my... I'll get a pincer attack going here. Or a little a little split attack. There we go. Like that. So that they can't really go anywhere. Um, so like these guys, I can replenish there? I, I what happens when that happens? Because to me, like Okay, so they go in for a minute. Can I just take them out whenever I want? No. Okay, so they have to be in there for quite a while. That's interesting. Okay, so I probably should not have done that. Really, when I did it. Um, but now I've got everyone back. Oh, they gotta be quick. At least they're replenished. Ooh, sugar. Save the other archers! There we go. Good job, team. Kind of good job, team. You're not even finishing them off. Come on. Why don't I wish they would just chase them down a little better. Um, okay, lots of archers here. Let's get shield people going on both sides. And let's get our good archers up here. And again, we're just gonna cross pincers here. That should be a, just a slaughter. There we go. Okay, that was good. Uh, so we know we're replenishing now, it does. So it takes like a certain amount of time, and then you get your guys back. You can't just whip them out again whenever you want. So that's something I need to keep in mind. I also noticed that there is a flea option there. Um, much like, say, your Red Hot Chili Peppers, there's a flea option. Um, we have 18 gold. Barrett is fatigued and is a an elite infantry. So it would take 20 to get them up again on either side of these. I kind of want to get elite pikes. I'm thinking I need them for, uh, you know dealing with the big guys so let's go to summer isle now like i promised at the opening of the video and we will deploy so here hopefully we get enough that we can um oops put those in the wrong spot oh i, I meant to put them in opposite spots of where they're going okay we got archers over there that's fine we got shields ready for them on both fronts our elite shields are here to poke at him and stuff. Oh, okay. I 
should have just been running at them. I was being cowardly there. Okay, lots of shield people here. But the thing is, is that they are stuck over here. They can't do anything except for get shot at by arrows and get pushed at by pikes, I don't think. So I think what I could do is just that. Because there's nowhere else for them to go. Well, let's keep them on there. And let's keep them, let's keep it like this. Okay, these guys are going all the way around, so that's fine. I can do this. But these guys... Face the other way, face the other way! Hello? Okay, so nobody's going. Okay, lots of... I didn't see these archers coming in, but that's okay. Oh, sugar. Okay, there we go. Spread them out a little bit. Okay, lots of archers coming in again. These guys can stay here. Let's keep our pikemen there or so. I don't know what to do here. There's too many. Are they all going in? Kind of. Okay, this looks fine. I think we're good. Okay, got a ton of sword folks over here, and they look like they're gonna basically be trapped. So let's just swap that. And gotta keep an eye out on the other shore, because they snuck up on me last time. But this feels pretty good. Yeah, this is fine. There's nowhere for this guy to go. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. I got an achievement for that. I don't know why. I did. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for the super elite um, pikes now. Thank you, Summer Isle. Let us upgrade here for the elite pikes. Increased power, right? So now I'm gonna probably want to save for elite archers. But for now, let's just go to rum. There's a question mark over here at Sharp Rock. Can't get there yet. I have to do rum first. Huh. Well, Dawn also has a question mark. That one looks hard. It's got the big guys on it. Um, let's do rum. I think we have to do that first anyways if we want to be able to continue. So, okay, so something tells me in this case, like, we're, it does look like there's a pretty obvious choke point up here for the pikes to defend. Okay, so there, oh, so there is actually a thing there for, so that'll stop them. Okay. I can see this, because these guys aren't going to get to go anywhere, basically. I'll just station them behind them in case they need backup. But for now, I'll just basically make sure that these guys can't get up this hill. Yeah, because they're going to have to do this fight. And then these pike guys, these guys are just trapped. My elite pikes are going to stop that all day, every day. And then over here, we'll sort them out. I think these pikemen can probably basically just stay there and guard that this whole time, is kind of what I'm thinking. There we go, a little pincer attack. Perfect. Um, we've got archers coming in on the far corner. Here's a time where... Oh, well, these guys are not good, actually. I was going to say they're good because there's a choke-off point, but they're actually not good because... Um, because the archers will be able to shoot them. There we go. We want to draw the fire to the elites. Our elite guys, and now they can run in and finish the job. We'll just push them right into the ocean <laughs> as a squad. Okay, we've got more shield folks coming over here, which let's put our pikemen in that spot just to be ready. 
I'm not sure what to expect. That's a lot of shields. If they try to come up, I want to be able to stab them, but I also want to be able to basically push them up that way, you know what I mean? I want to be able to shove them, like rush them with everyone so that they have to go pike ways. Yeah, that was perfect. That was absolutely flawless. Now let's, okay, so we've got big guys coming on both sides. Here's the thing, I think that side I know can basically be guarded by only pikes. I don't think they're gonna have any issues keeping that spot on their own. So over here, I'm gonna have to be a lot more strategic and just sort of keep a, keep a half eye up there while these guys are just gonna have to do the fight with a nice clean pincer attack. And it's not gonna be pretty. But yeah, those pikes made absolute short work of those. Um, to the point where I'm really not concerned. Even the same thing here, like, if they're all coming on this side and that's the final wave, this seems like it's gonna be easy. Seems like I don't have to do anything. They're just gonna get absolutely rocked by these pikes. Yeah, easy. Easy. No problem. Great. I get really high stress levels during this game, but it's not that bad. <laughs> or at least, I, I don't know. I mean, that's what I was saying. Remember I was saying that before and then my run abrupt, very abruptly ended? Okay, so I got mines. That's good. Um, I'm going to... Who do I have that can take a, an item right now? Anyone? Mod can. So can Barret. Barret is already the elite ones. So I kind of want to give the non-elite ones something to be doing. That's a little more valuable, if that makes sense. Um, and then we are going to continue saving for elite, like top, top level archers. So one more island, probably. Skillowick or... I don't know what that is. What does that mean? I mean, we have to go next turn here. Um, I guess we do Skillowick. I kind of want to go see what's happening here, but I'm afraid I'm going to get trapped. Because I don't have... Hmm. Because I don't think I have the crew. Like, that looks like something I could take on with maybe two units. But... Oh, this, does this show where the line moves next? Yeah, but that's the thing. I'd have to go there and there, and then I, I think I'd get stuck. So I think maybe I have to do Skillowick and just keep moving. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. There, are, There's probably a good couple of you I know have been playing this. Um, and you probably have more knowledge of this than I do. So let's just look here. If they come up on this side, where can they go? Just up that. Just up this. So there's really only one point of entry here um so yeah i'm really not scared of this at all <laughs> should i have any reason to be scared of this what am i missing okay so pike guys can hold this choke point with the help of the archers and then these guys are just gonna oh i see so this is gonna be a little bit of an issue um, just depending on like where folks land and having to run up and down but like this is this is to me this is nothing I mean correct me if I'm wrong but that's nothing that guy he's he's currently not a concern yeah like these pike guys are gonna be able to hold that pass with the help of these guys like all day long as far as I can see and I, I think I should keep these guys kind of resting up top so they can get back and forth quickly, but... Okay, so lots of guys, lots of archers and stuff coming in on that side. I think I'm gonna relocate them and let the pike folks do their, do their dirty, dirty grim work. And let's get these guys. They're maybe moving a little slowly for my liking but I'm gonna have to squeeze them, essentially, is what the hope is. It's, yeah, yeah. Okay, I lost some people there. Oh, 
this is not great. Gotta hide my pikes for a minute. Okay, let's get them back in their nook. Let's get the archers over here. These guys are a little hurt, um, but I think that's fine. They're not that badly hurt. I don't think I have to worry yet. Okay, lots of big guys coming in. Let's maybe have my elites just on standby at the back here. But I really don't think they're needed. They're doing a great job. I've got lots of dudes coming in up here. Okay, so here's a situation where I think I need to get my pikes... Yeah, I need to get my pikes up, up here, I think. And let's get these guys here. Let's get these guys here. And let's let these elites and the purples take on this area, I think. I think we just let the pikes hold this ramp for now. Yeah, we let the, those elites handle that choke point. I don't love that the archers are just kind of getting brutalized here, but I also don't see a fantastic alternative yet. Okay, well the shield guys will block for the archers that are there. And then these guys can just rush them. Okay, good, 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 good. That was a really fun one. I liked the way that island was set up with the with the little choke points and kind of maneuvering up and down the hills. This is it's getting more fun and more challenging, which is a sign of a fun game to me. I'm, I'm enjoying, I don't know how long it goes. That's, a, that's something else. Um, but let's get putting them here to the max level of archer that we can. And then maybe we'll start upgrading our items. Um, I suppose we'll go to Lismore because it can't hurt to gain a couple of folks. Um, so we want our elite pikes. We do not want mod. We want Putnam. I think. Yeah, why not? Jeez, this is gonna be... I think this is gonna be really easy. Am I crazy? <laughs> I guess it's... I guess it'll be hard in the sense that if there's elite guys... Um, yeah, these guys don't even have shields, which sucks, but, I mean, whatever. They're not necessary. There's only one place they can come in. This is, like, essentially zero threat. Well, I guess it's a threat if I'm an absolute dummy and just let the pikemen take shots, but I'm not going to do that forever. Keep the pikemen back a bit. Let my archers keep doing their grim work from up here. And then these guys can just eat arrow shots, and I'll have these guys run around the house for uh, bonus attacks when I need them, if I need them. But I really don't think I'm going to. Like, they just... <laughs> yeah. Like, when the big guys start coming in is the thing I, I... I mean, I may lose one house. If they send a lot of big guys, I, could, I can just s sacrifice that one house and just keep them at bay with my elite pikes on that side, so... I just don't think I have anything to worry about at all here. Unless the game throws something uh, real unexpected at me. You know, even in this case, like... The, these guys can move up. I'm just gonna leave those archers to get killed by the ones I've got, I think. Yeah, and they did it, so now these guys can fight a little bit, but... I am, uh, I'm truly not concerned at this point in time. They're just gonna get destroyed here. They're gonna get destroyed. That's a lot of archers, but it's... They have nowhere to go. Okay, the boat has landed. Now let's send our guys in. It's easy. I, I could have done that with two units, I think. Which, I still don't know. The one thing about this game I cannot really parse out still is 
why would I ever not do it with all of my units, you know? Um, maybe in the harder modes, this chases you farther or something where it becomes more of an issue, but... I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I gotta proceed to next turn. I have one commander available here. So I've got two infantry units, one pike unit. I probably want another archer unit, to be honest. They're very useful. Um, and then when it comes to items, I probably want to increase Philosopher's Stone or something. But um, for now, I guess, do we just move on to Call? That one looks real hard. Hav Shulmer looks a little easier just in terms of terrain. But does it really help us progress much is a question. I guess it's more or less the same. God, that looks tough. Sorry, Gemma, I do not want you. I'm gonna need mod here. Um... Let's challenge ourselves. Uh, yeah. So I have a feeling our pikes are gonna be fairly useless here, unless we can do a bunch of, like, squeezes. Uh, which maybe would have been something to figure out in advance. <laughs> okay. I gotta keep one... The thing is, I gotta keep one unit available to help the pikes, because... The pikes can really get in some trouble if the guys don't come right at them, basically. Yeah, so like the hope here was you gotta move them into the pikes, guys. That was the hope. Okay, um, you guys gotta get replenished, like, right away. So let's just put them straight in. Um, these guys are catching arrows, which is really is fine right now. Pikes can go here. I'm gonna back them up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I got a lot more... ...units. Oh, they got a they got a they got a thing thrown at me. Okay, we chase them off onto the peninsula. Oh, the peninsula is a choke point. I can use the peninsula. Yeah, cause there's I mean, the, oh, but these are archers. Shoot. Okay, these guys are back though. Get over there as a choke point. You guys get in front, and then you guys can stay behind. And I think that's fine. I'm just realizing the power of that peninsula, cause now they have nowhere to go. They have to go through my. Oh, they're not archers. I'm wrong. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something has gone very wrong here in the way I was moving my units. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Um, okay. Lots of archers there. Let's slow things down and think here a minute. Um, that's fine. We can get these guys here. We can get the archers behind. And we can even get pikemen going, I think, and that's okay. I almost want to just get these guys replenishing again because I feel like a fool, but I think it is really the move. Okay, huge wave of guys over there. There are some archers. So you guys are going to have to move. You guys are going to chase them right into the water, which is fine. Okay, now these guys got to get over here too. Oof, they need to... Okay, great. Perfect timing. Literally, absolute perfect timing. There we go. The pikes can kind of work them from both sides. Okay. Okay, pikes. Um, who has the mines? You do. Um, okay. I gotta, I gotta move you guys. Uh, okay, they look like they're landing over here, actually. So what I'm gonna do is have you guys drop a mine there, and I'm gonna have you drop a mine here. And then stand here, probably. 
Um, you guys are just gonna have to fight it out. I can't lose that unit, I really don't want to. Okay, they got blown up by the mine and then they attacked. That went great. That went so good over there. Oof. Okay, I saved all my units too. I didn't lose those guys. I got really worried for a second there. That was a great victory. That was a hard level and a good fought victory. Lots of coins. So what does that mean? Is that just another person I can collect? How long do these runs go? <laughs> Is there a completion? <laughs> Who knows? Um, Tinder. This looks so cool. And there's a new type of unit there. Just saying. <laughs> um, so I can get to elite archers on that team. These guys still are not fully elite. I think I probably have to save for that. OK, we'll go next turn. Um, I want to look at Lundy here. So I have Checkpoint Island. I don't know what that means. OK, so there's a church here. How do we look? So there is only one way up here, which means if we've got our elite pikes, we kind of don't have to worry about losing this place, or we barely do. We might lose these two. Something bad happens. Um, this looks like you can pass through it, and you can obviously go around. Landing here is the real issue for these two houses. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we want two archers. No. No, I think we stick with this. Yeah, two two sword and shield units, one our, our elite archer and our pike. I was thinking maybe we want... See, like, in my mind, essentially the archers and the pikemen should not really be leaving this area see can you you can squeeze through there right yeah that makes sense um okay archers get over here we've got shield guys okay well i'm lying already because these guys are gonna get right up in their grill are these big guys? They are big guys. Or no, they're not. They're just regular guys. Okay. That's okay. Whoa! They're axe throwers. Okay. I thought they were like elite. I thought they were like elite um, dudes. Guys, what are you doing? Why are you standing there? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Save the pikes. Nice. Perfect switch, crew. Perfect switch there. Okay, we've got big guys coming over here. We hope they're going to come this way, essentially. Um, but if not, we want to gum up the works here a little bit. If they decide to go that way. Yeah, they're going they're going pike guy way. Which is great for me, and it means I can run around and get them in the back. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Um, once again, so these guys look like they're going to be going this way. So they got to swap with them, and we got to keep these guys holding this side. Um, yeah, if they try and squeeze through, which would be a big, big mistake, then they're gonna get, they're gonna catch the pikes. Um, and that's gonna be just brutal for them. And we're gonna have these guys sneak, sneak around. Sneak around and get them in the back. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh, it went so well. Okay, don't get too excited. Um, we got lots of archers coming here. I think that's fine. We're just gonna run a pincer on them. Uh, we've got two, got two shield units that can take the hits here. Yeah, let's just run them straight into the corner here. No work for them to go. Okay, now on that far side, I see we've got shields. These guys are axe throwers again. Um, let's get these guys over here along with pikes and our unelite units. Um, actually, our unelites. While you're here. Can I get you guys to set a little bomb down and now join them over here? You guys will pick up the aftermath. 
this should be good. This should be fine. It's absolutely not a good idea. <laughs> I was not paying enough attention, otherwise it was fine. That mine literally took out the whole squad over there. Um, okay, so this becomes a thing again where I want them to mine both that spot and I think I probably want these guys oof this is tough okay I want these guys here I want these guys to be up here helping them and then I want these guys here and these guys here but I want another mine down there first I think this is the setup I want to stick with these guys will hopefully basically just blow up um, and then I need to get them okay now we run in and we pincer from both the top and the bottom. These guys have to, that's fine. They're doing fine over there. Now these guys can't make it through. That's beautiful. Um, once again, we're gonna kind of get the, the grid thing of, I've used all my mines, shit. Do these guys, no. Um, oh, I can't decide. I think these guys will be able to just take them and maybe they help. Okay, yeah, they got him from behind. That's fine. Now these guys can get him from the top, and these guys go around and just chase through the... Yeah, okay. Is that... That's not it. Oh, that's not even close to everything. Okay, you guys gotta get out of there. Um, you guys are good here. Get over here as well. Uh, are they all coming from that side? They are. Okay, this is fine then. I think we're actually okay. We essentially just need to bait them through that pike hole. Yeah, and this is fine. My pikes are just too good for them, and they can't... It doesn't appear that the archers really know what to do. Yeah, okay, there's just one archer standing there. I'll just send my... <laughs> okay, I don't know what a checkpoint island is, but it was hard. I can say that. And I learned what an axe thrower is. That's what the extra, like some kind of berserker axe thrower. What does that mean? What does checkpoint reached mean? Tell me what it means, video game. <laughs> okay, we can upgrade mod to also be the highest tier of infantry, which feels pretty good to me. I mean, now we just have Gemma sitting here. We could go to Tinder. It's big guys only, though. I don't like that. I don't really want to do a flat one with only big guys on it. Veroya here? What do we got? Oh, this looks easy. Well, I can't do it with them. Um... I gotta rest anyways, but... We will rest, and then we will do... Or should we do scary? Because there's an X... There's a little question mark there. Oh, this is got to be the easiest one I've seen yet. Let's just rest Barrett and Maud. And we will take Gemma and Putnam. There's one spot. They can only come up the one way. Why would I do anything other than defend here? You know? This seems way too easy. I don't know what I'm even worried about. Like, I can just move these archers around to deal a bunch of damage while they try and get up here. All my houses are up here. Like, am I wrong about this? Am I missing something? This guy's, yeah, he's totally toast. He doesn't even know where to go. He's just dead. <laughs> this is like auto, an auto battler here. I don't even have to do anything. I've got elite archers just standing here, absolutely destroying guys. And then these guys can just run back and forth and shoot, shoot as well. <laughs> There's no getting up. <laughs> They're scared. Oh, poor guys. I kind of feel for them. I don't know why you would want to attack here ever. Like, 
even these big guys, what are they gonna do? They're sitting down before they even get to the ramp. Sit down. Sit down, big guys. Look at the massacre on this. It's not gonna be pretty, I tell you that. I tell you that much. Yeah, I nailed the volley too. I haven't even—I don't even think I've used that ability before. <laughs> but I can use it because these guys are just sitting ducks here. This is almost comically easy. This one. That's so simple. Here, yeah. You guys go on that side. You can slam on them for a minute while they come in take three or four of them with them before they even touch ground same thing here take another three or four and then uh, just absolutely destroyed just no chance for any of them <laughs> there's nowhere for them to go oh. all right I think we'll do one more island in this video um, we're starting to run a little. I don't know where the end is. This thing, 100 guys. Wow, good job, Pike team. Jabina, what's that? Jabena? Habena? Habana. I wonder what that is. Just another item. Allows the commander to be deployed twice per turn. Wow. That's very good, isn't it? I think I would want that on probably something like Putnam, to be honest. Because I'm almost always going to be bringing an archer. I don't know why I wouldn't. Oh, but I can't unequip. Okay, so I guess I'll just put it on... Maybe I'll even put it on Gemma. Because that is an archer, will be a good archer soon. Yeah, I don't hate that idea. Um, so I have, this is one of those things where I feel like there's another, like, let me look at Ensei here. I've got two elite units, but it's going to be hard to block up a place like that with, like, somewhere like Veroya even. I mean, I might as well just go next turn. I don't see what the, why not? No, I've got three commanders available. It seems like a bit of a waste, but... All of these had the big guys, is the thing. I think if there was one that did not have the big fellas, I would be more inclined. Because I don't have my pikes. So yeah, I think we just go to next turn. Um, and then we probably do end, say... Or we could go Skokholm. So, yeah, this one seems pretty easy. We'll take pikes, we'll take... We'll leave, uh, put... Put them behind. And we'll take... Mod. No, we'll take putting them. We'll get a lead. I don't know. Gemma's a in a weird spot for me right now. With two, being able to be deployed twice, but also being like a sec, a effectively my weakest unit is is a strange thing. I, I can upgrade her, but okay, these are all sorty folks, and that's fine. Let's get nobody else coming in right now. No, it's just these sword teams. Both are fully elite now, which is good. I like my pikes just kind of staying on my... Get you some backup there. Okay. I've got a lot of shield guys over here coming in. That's fine. We can run a pincer on them, no problem. Just get our... Oh, okay, wait. Hold up, you guys go up here now. 
and we'll get our pikes here maybe use that kind of like a choke point and again this is a pincer that kind of worked it seems good again yeah they're trapped in that choke point by my pikes so they cannot run through as much as they might want to and then same kind of same thing here what if i swap with them like there's nowhere for them to go if they're landing over there they have to go through my pikes or my shields look at them they're just standing there yeah they're gonna get piked here and then i'm just gonna run in on that side and finish them off great this seems really good I feel like I can kind of just maneuver along this and let my archers do some dirty work on the around the edges. Again, yeah, like, no big deal. Purple's figuring it out. Um, so I think the thing is that we just have to guess which way are the guess if we can bait them around maybe is that how this works yes okay bait them around perfect and now go right into the pikes yep and then the yellow guys run in beautiful absolutely beautiful they fell for the bait exactly as you hope and then we might even do the same thing here where we run these guys in and they go, we go like oh come come here come here and then we run back we lead them right into the pikes. These guys try to sneak around the side. They get nothing. They get nothing doing. And then these guys come around and finish them off. Oh. Just beautiful environmental work here. Cool. All right, well, that's been another very successful episode of Bad North. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm still having an absolute blast with this game. Um, Step, now that I, I know about I don't I don't I haven't needed to garrison my units and that kind of thing yet I'm still not sure I understand the turn system really because um, I don't see any downside to not using my turn to recover everybody but that may just be um, essentially because I'm playing on you know normal um, let's just quickly here I will get Gemma upgraded to an acceptable level and from there, guys, I think we're just going to call it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, so subscribe if you're having fun. Uh, but other than that, I'll just see you on Monday. Bye.